Hello people of the internet, Board Zach here and welcome back to yet another YouTube video and in today's video we are doing day five of the Lego City and Lego Marvel advent calendars. Now before I start I wanted to address a comment I got on I believe the third um, video which was somebody saying that I was a little too quiet in these videos. I do apologize if you feel that's been the case. Um, my house is a lot busier this year, and I try not to uh, intrude on others by being too loud doing these or being too distracting. So I do apologize um, at the moment. I'm here alone, so I'm able to be more loud. But in the case that you hear me be a little more quiet, I do apologize. I just wanted to go ahead and say that uh, here just to make it on the record. And I will do my best moving forward. Thankfully, today's video, I can speak up a little bit. So yeah, in the last video, we got this little weapons rack and this awesome little piano with the kitty. Um, today's video, sometimes I predict these things. I think we'll get another build from City and I think we will get another figure from here. So let's see if my prediction is correct. Um, right so far, we got a little train. That's actually pretty cool. It's like a more modern train. So these city calendars, they are no stranger to these little micro builds. I have criticized them before. But some of them like this, I actually like. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can imagine if you collected these things like long term. You could probably make a pretty nice little micro city by now um, if you were able to build some buildings, which I think micro scale buildings would be really easy because you just need a bunch of bricks to just stack them up, make skyscrapers and such, which if you want to make skyscrapers in um, system scale, it is a lot harder. Okay. There goes that. That's the front part. I've never seen this clip in green, in lime green. So that's nice. Slap that on. Trans red. Lime green there. Black clip. I wish they could have done this in lime green, but I understand. Why not? And then, um, forgot these on the first part little roller skates, which they've got a lot of usage out of these, a lot of mileage out of these roller skates. They've been using these things for wheels for quite some time now. And there you go. There's your train. And I do like that they use that piece because what that means is you can have the train bend and move around. So if you really wanted to, you could definitely make this a really long train. So I don't have the pieces, nor do I really care to do that but you could and there is a little train track in here and I'm actually gonna maybe have it carving a little bit yeah there we go that looks pretty good there for spare parts you got a trans red one by one plate a trans gray one by one plate and an extra roller skate which I have an army of one single roller skates and Maybe one day they all have a partner, but not anytime soon, because I don't really use them for anything. Um, but they come in extras on every set. So day five, let me shut the door on the city one. Day five for the Guardians. I do think we'll get a figure today. I could be wrong. There we go, Rocket. And I swear I didn't know that beforehand. I'm just, I usually can do pretty good at guessing these things. And I did today. Um, I already have this figure because I have the Benatar, but this is a fantastic figure, like genuinely a great figure. So I'll never complain about having an extra. So let's go ahead. This is the end game rocket. Um, it's not accurate to the clothing he wears in this Christmas special, but neither are most of the figures and it doesn't really bother me. Because like I said, this is still a great figure to get an extra of. He was exclusive to that set. He's probably done now. They're probably not going to make this figure anymore. So 
Those of you who want, I just realized it's not focused. Those of you who want in-game Rocket, this is a nice cheap way to get him. And you've got in-game Quill, in-game Mantis, and then I believe uh, in-game Team Groot. And then the holiday special versions of Nebula and Drax. So you get basically the whole modern lineup of the Guardians, considering Nebula is currently not a part of the team, which I know she will be in the next movie, but not at the moment. Yeah, so this really is a spectacular figure. Probably one of my favorites Lego Marvel has ever had. He's just it looks extremely good. So I'm very happy to have an extra rocket here. And I think there's no better place for a rocket to be than checking out this weapons rack because that weapons rack has rocket written all over it. So yeah, here is the Guardians calendar so far. And here is the city calendar so far. I will say, despite not being as Christmassy, I am preferring the Guardians one. I don't even love licensed Lego themes that much, but I've been noticing um, last year with the Star Wars and this year with the Marvel, as I've said in a couple other videos, these ones are definitely for an older audience, and I think that's why I like them, because there's a little more put into it. But then sometimes the city builds, you get some really good builds like today's. I think today, day five, has been my favorite day for both calendars. Um, actually, no, I like the cat more. But this has been my favorite joint day together. Two really solid builds, not one that was lacking. So yeah, very happy with that. And with that being said, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, please let me know if the person who commented that has watched this video all the way through. Please let me know that um, you can hear me if I'm louder or if I should still speak up. Um, I don't do YouTube as much as I used to, unfortunately, so I'm not as used to it, and I definitely wish I had more time to make videos, but I don't because I'm in college, so, you know, I do it when I have time. So, yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.